We are inside the platform um, on the left side. So I'll just like, let's start with the left side. The left side is going to be the most important. So on the left sidebar, this is your main menu. So you definitely want to uh, pay notice to this. So your uh, dashboard, this is your dashboard right here. It'll show you sales. It'll show you total leads that you have. Um, it'll give you some commands that you can just work off of. If you want to create something, you can create a funnel, you create a workflow. Um, you know, if you want to jump into your courses or customer center. And there's some other stuff, there's recent activity, orders, broadcast, blog posts. Uh, and then you can get into, there's ClickFunnels 2 Academy. It's like, it helps you learn about ClickFunnels, uh, which is which is really good. And then you can um, ask the community, which I really haven't done. Feedback and feature requests, I've definitely done that. Live training programs, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Probably for like the One Funnel Away challenge. Um, product document documentation, okay. So, and then you have sites, and then th this is going to be where your where your main funnel is, your funnel hub. It, it, it it's a, it's kind of like a website, is what it is. And what it is, it has like links to all your funnels. It also is going to have like an about you section, talk about you, any shows that you're doing. If you're doing like if you have a YouTube channel, or if you have a podcast, or if you have a blog, it's all going to go on that page. Um, that's what site's all about. Funnels, funnels is where you're going to build all your stuff, uh, all your funnels. So all your for your products or services, right? This is where you're going to build them. Um, products, all your products are going to get loaded up here. This is like your main area for products. Uh, one of the things on ClickFunnels Classic is like you always added a product to a specific page, where as in 2.0, you create the product and then when you're ready to build a page, you can add a product and you can choose from all your menu of products, which is actually pretty good. Uh, this will give you like analytics of your orders. Uh, you have your contact list here. Um, the contact, the CRM is definitely updated for 2.0 as far as uh, from Classic. With Classic, you had to have the premium account in order to get access to their CRM and their, their email management. And that was like, that would cost you $2.97 a month. Whereas with 2.0, you can pay um, $1.97 and you actually get all the CRM with it, plus a lot of other stuff too. Um, there's a 147 version, um, but frankly, like the 197 is the way to go. So there's contact, uh, your contacts, your, your analytics, uh, this would be your marketing and your email flows. Like they call them workflows now. Message up's kind of new. And what it is, is basically a place where you can message everybody. So you have to connect your, connect to like your Facebook, your Instagram, probably X. Uh, I haven't set it up yet cause it's, it's literally so new. Um, X, you know, maybe if you, you know, wherever you have chat that will integrate, I'm not sure which ones will work, but at least you can message everybody from the same place. And I think like, this is one of the big features that was on go high level that wasn't on ClickFunnels 2.0. And I was a little disappointed in, right? Because you want to be able to message everybody right from one spot. So, um, they, they just added that. And then lastly, you have payments, uh, payments, AI payments, AI is really cool because now you can add like your Stripe, your PayPal, your Coinbase, um, any other payment platform that you want to use, you ac actually build it right into payments, AI. And then, um, then you can just choose whatever, um, uh, like, so if they make a payment, it'll just go to whichever one is best for them and gives them a bunch of options. And then down in the bottom here, we have settings. So let's go into settings. All right, it's pretty simple in the settings. You can edit your workspace. You can select an image if you want, payment settings, credit card. Um, if you have order numbers, delete test orders, team settings, uh, delete. Or okay, so I don't want to delete any of that. But then over here, you can add collaborators um, under settings. So if I want to add a collaborator, someone to work inside your account, I do that for a lot of clients. Notifications, you can set up, I guess this is, okay, notifications for you. And then you have billing, which goes to another... But this is where you find all your stuff, shipping, assets, integration. Assets are where you're going to, um, this is where you load up any like digital things that you have. Like maybe you have screenshots, which, you know, I have some screenshots here or you have images or, you know, this is where you can load it up and then you have it in the system when you need it. Um, you can also do it in places that you need to upload it, but on your funnel, but you can load them here first if you want. If you have like PDFs, you can put those here. Um, you can have integrations, styles, themes, system emails. So you can tell the system to do certain things with the emails because like if I get a sale, like it's going to send them an email if it's for a course or if it's for your members area, it's going to send that out. It sends all that stuff out like automatically, which is really cool. Um, I think it's a really good uh, feature that they put on this because we didn't have that before. You had to actually like type in a message and uh, it actually just, it's all integrated now. It does it for you. Uh, there's funnel tags and and webhooks so 
you know, if you just want to tag your funnels or you want to build web hooks, it's more like developers. So I'm, I don't really know what that is. So let's go back up to the dashboard. Um, your first thing is going to be your sites. So I want to talk about this. A lot of people get this confused that I work with. This site is basically your funnel hub, right? This is going to be where you, it, it's kind of like your website, you're like your homepage. And really what I have here is, you know, um, <clears throat> It, you know, a quick call to action, you can click that or you can scroll down. I have a funnel launch checklist, which, you know, anybody could check out. It's like my free thing. And then <clears throat> I, these are like the free, the three things I want to promote under like my products. So like I said, this is a funnel hub, right? So we've got funnel bootcamp, which is the one funnel away challenge. Um, I do it with you. I can just help you build out your funnel if you want, or we can get into advanced strategies. So there's like three different things that I have there. Quick about me. Uh, with a photo that I don't like <laughs> and then uh, link all your your social and uh, if you have a podcast you post it here you know if you have any other products or you can just relist the same products there's gonna be a blog here and then um, I'll probably post like my my YouTube my YouTube videos I'll probably put that there too so that's your funnel hub I don't want you to get that confused a lot of people start out their funnel in the site feature so so that's sites, right? So that's going to be like your funnel hub. That's your main, your main page. Like I said, it's about you. It talks about what shows you have and other products that you have. And then, um, and then you're going to get to funnels and funnels is way different, right? This is where we actually, uh, where that funnel hub links to like specific funnels, right? So if I have like, you go to my, my OFA offer uh, bridge page, which is the one funnel away. I have a special offer for that. Actually link is in the description and uh, or if you have like another, like another funnel I have is like for my services for, you can do like, you can book an hour, you can book some time with me. You can do one-on-ones. I have that too. Um, but this is where you build them. Or if you have like a, a webinar or if you have e-commerce, you're going to, you're going to build it all here. If you're selling it like a specific product that's in the funnels. Uh, the next would be products. So this is where you would load everything up, uh, if you had products. So and this is where all the features are done. And this is different from classic because you would only do this. Uh, you'd only fill out the information about the product on the actual funnel page. Or whereas now there's a product section and you build out the products here. You, you know, you give it an image. Um, I'll take you into it. Yeah. So you give it an image. You'll, uh, you can add it to the customer center, which actually I want to do. Um, customer center and online store. Yeah. I want that there. I'm going to update this. I have this on my to-do list to go through my customer center and online store. But, um, you know, and then you, you fill all the features here. I'm not going to go like deep. We're not going deep on stuff. We're just going to give you a tutorial and show you where everything is. All right. So that's your products, right? So you can go into any product and do that. Um, collections. Not exactly sure what this is. I'm not really sure what that is. And then you can tag your products. And the next thing is orders, right? Do I have any orders? And I, I believe this might be for, this is either analytics or, yeah, it's analytics orders. Um, okay. And then, but and there's also, oh, they don't have sales anymore. Okay. So orders and there's contacts. This is your contact management. You can, you know, you, you create a tag and, and it tags them all here. You can see them all. You can, you can sort, sort by, you know, email address, payment last updated um and you can also uh, type in the tag here and then it'll, it'll sort them so and then you have contact tags like what do i have for tags these are all the tags that i have segments i'm not really sure what segments is um there's you can always learn more if you want to know more about segments i'm not really sure i think that's for like you know if you want to you know with your contacts you want to sort them in a certain way import contacts if you have a list to bring in um and contact actions, not really sure what that is either. But you can go a little bit digger, uh, deeper on this, tag action on three contacts, profit this was. Um, you know, and there's always a learning section, so you can, and then here's the other thing too about ClickFunnels, you can always go to the help section, uh, and they have an AI assistant, so you can always ask questions here and get information. Um, so that's something to know. And then, you know, you have your analytics, and then you have your, your marketing section, which is your workflow, Okay, these are workflows. So let's say, you know, I have somebody coming in. Um, where's my other one? Okay, so let's do let's do this one. So you can see the commands. I think this is probably one of the best features on 2.0. Um, so you're gonna have a, you know, you first you set the trigger. What's the trigger? It's probably when somebody opts in. Um, yeah, for the one funnel away 
uh, bridge page for the offer I have there because you can get, if you, if you go, so here's the thing, right? So quick offer time, if it's okay with you, uh, let me just throw down and, and tell you about the offer for click funnels. Maybe you're already into it and you like it, or you're thinking about it and you're looking for the res the best deal. So the, the one funnel away challenge is something that I think everybody should take. I've taken it several times. It definitely propelled me faster in my career with click funnels and understanding marketing and funnels better than any other course. Right. And I paid a hundred dollars for it. Whereas before I was paying thousands of dollars to try and learn from other people, but the one funnel away challenge is the best and you can get it for a hundred dollars and you can even get it for free. And if you do the free way, you get a 30 day free trial to click funnels, right? So if you signed up for click funnels right now, you're only getting a 14 day free trial. But if you do the one funnel away challenge, which is a 30 day sprint of building a funnel, everything you need to know to build a funnel and you use click funnels and in 30 days you have a funnel built and launched. So what I'm saying is you get all the training in that for life if you sign up for the challenge and you do the 30-day free trial to ClickFunnels, right? It's going to give you an option. You're going to pay $100 or you can do the free trial. I highly suggest you do the free trial. If you sign up through my link, I'm going to give you over $3,000 worth of bonuses, all right? So I'll put that link in the description. Enough said. But one of the best features, back to this, the best feature that I think is going on for ClickFunnels is their workflows. And so here is like... You can set the trigger. So the trigger is somebody opts in for my funnel. Then I'm gonna send an asset, right? So I'm telling the system, hey, send them this asset. Um, we'll see what it is. I think it's the uh, my funnel launch checklist, all right? So you're gonna get that. And then it's gonna enroll them, right? So what are they enrolling in? They're gonna enroll in my funnel launch checklist. Okay, so it's gonna take them to the members area, right? So I'm sending the asset and also enrolling them because there's a video that goes along with it. Then I'm gonna add a tag. All right, so I'm telling the system to do all these things. I line it up all right here, <clears throat> right? Then I'm gonna start sending emails, uh, one hour delay, email, one day delay. Um, and then if you wanna add something, you just click the plus button here. And then it's gonna give you a bunch of different commands. You can send an email, you can send an asset, uh, a conditional split path, a split test, a delay. If I wanna add a, a split path, actually I don't wanna do that right, right there. But I can always uh, bring a delay over. I can be like, okay. Oops, uh, I'll just click it, yeah. And then I can say, um, let's just call it one hour and then I'll create it. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna add it right into the right into the system here. But I don't want that right there, right? So I'm gonna take that back out. Yeah, I wanna delete it. Okay, so let's go back to the plus button. And then it gives you all these others. So you can do a con spl uh, conditional split path. Um, you can do a split test, a delay. If you enter a calendar event, um, that's something for you use that pretty much when you're doing like a countdown timer, opt in for countdown timer. Um, well, with it, a countdown timer. And then when that event stops or somebody um, checks in on that event, it kind of like tags. There, there's so much you can do. I, I can't go deep into that right now. That's not this video. Um, you can trigger another workflow. You can end it. You can uh, create a conditional goal, right? Pull a customer forward to their current path. At this point is met on these conditions. Okay. Tag a content, uh, contact, add a note, notify. So you can give yourself notifications if you want. Um, enroll them in a, a certain course, unenroll. Grant community access, revoke community access, exit. You know, there's all these commands over here. So that's just what I want to show you. And you can get pretty creative. And the thing was with, um, in Classic, you didn't have this feature. Only unless you had the premium, the platinum service. And even that service was, it was just very outdated. It needed updating. It was hard to use. It was, it was a little difficult to understand. This flow is way better. <clears throat> All right. So that's workflows. Okay. And that's pretty much everything. If you want specific questions answered about ClickFunnels 2.0, go ahead and ask me those questions down in the comments below. Um, I will be making other videos. So if I don't answer your question in the comments, look out for the, for one of the next videos, cause I will be making videos on your questions. Um, so I didn't want to go too deep on this. I just want to show you the general outline of 2.0. And if you are thinking about signing up for 2.0, if you saw everything you like, take advantage of my offer down below, uh, sign up for the one funnel away challenge through my link. I'm going to give you over $3,000 worth of bonuses. Some of the training in there that I go on, I go a lot deeper on funnels. Um, not so much building, but like how like what you're putting in there the messaging that you're going to be speaking to your your ideal customer about um done a lot of good training with this i trained with steve larson i have his flagship program internet launch secrets which i think is outstanding um so i studied that i was studying that the past six months and uh, really went deep on it so i want to share with you with like some of my thoughts and what i learned there and 
you can get that training when you sign up for the OFA challenge. Like I said, you're going to get a 30 day free, you can get the 30 day free trial to click funnels. Um, so you get everything for free. There, there's Russell's going to give you $3,000 worth of bonuses. And then you can also get my 3000 over 3000 of bonuses on top of that. Um, and you get a click funnels account and I'm going to give you templates. Like you're going to have everything you need. So, um, just wanted, wanted to invite you to check that out. And if you want to see another video on how to use click funnels, like uh, live funnel build, go ahead and check out this video right here. Peace.